guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead, and we have all come together tonight. Well, almost all of us. Rebecca is snoozing on the couch over there, but she's here, <laughs> and she'll probably wake up during the video. But we had time this evening to do our last unboxing. We had told you guys a while back that we were going to stop filming these um, and we were going to take all the packages, all the gifts that we received through March 31st and go ahead and film those. Uh, we did extend that a little bit. We've got some of the packages here behind me that didn't arrive till around April 3rd and we've gone ahead and included them in this unboxing video. But we're going to sit down this evening and go ahead and open these up on camera here for the last time. And I'm just going to up front say thank you because you guys are good, are good to us and we appreciate you a whole bunch. So here we go. All right. Normally we would start off with Rebecca, but she is asleep. So we're going to go ahead and let her keep snoozing and Abigail's going to go first tonight. So go on, baby. See, I knew what was in there. That Even one is so heavy. <laughs> Go ahead and pull one of the cans out. See, guys, it's Black a whole cherry. case of the Zevia sodas. These are those sugar-free sodas, and they have all different kinds of flavors. Pull out that was black cherry. Oh. There's a cola, lemon lime twist. I'm not heard of that Feet. One. Yeah, I've not had grapefruit citrus. Mm. I've not oh, had wow. that kind either. Um, have you ever had this? Uh, Dr. Zevia and Mountain Zevia. Nope, I've not had the Mountain Zevia for sure. I know you had these. Orange, cream soda, grape. Yeah, just all kinds. So the gal at, that helped me out at the UPS store, um, she noticed on the side it had a label that said, she said, it feels like soda. And we looked on the side and it said on the label that it was Zevia's. So is this? there any sort of markings? Yeah, the grapefruit kind. I've never had that kind. Markings of a name. Yes. Do you see a name on there anywhere of who this might be from? Well, thank you. I appreciate it, whoever you are. Really, really appreciate that. The price had gone up at Sam's Club, and that was something that I had said. I'm going to go ahead and just knock that off my Sam's Club list. So this is extra special, nice treat for me. So thank you. Okay, Anna Mae, you going to go ahead and pick one out? She says, I'm strong. I've got farm girl muscles. All right, Walmart package. Okay. Oh, it's Rebecca's asleep. See, I know that one's for Rebecca. Oh goodness, I hate she's asleep now. Okay, so I'd gotten an email from, and I'm, I'm gonna say your name wrong. I'm so I'm gonna say it both ways. It's either Chandra or Chandra. I'm not sure. Chandra? You think it's Chandra? I know of people who pronounce it Chandra with that spell. Okay. We're not sure, and I'm sorry if we're totally messing up your name, but um, I'd gotten an email uh, that uh, she had sent this for Rebecca. So she's going to love it. I'm telling you, she's going to love that it's a rainbow color and everything. So thank you for that. <laughs> All right, David has picked his out. You all think you knew it was a DVD. The Great Muffet, uh, Muppet Caper? Caper. Caper. <laughs> oh, Let me wow. see. The Great Muppet Caper. Now, does that it have a fun. note on there? I have an idea of who this DVD is from. It's on the front, David. Is it on the front? Aaron. From Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate you. She makes sure we take time to have fun, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Andrew, which one are you going to pick? <gasps> What's that one? More Muppets. More Muppets? 
Okay, Muppets from Space and the Muppets Take Manhattan. I watched that one as a girl. So I do remember that one. And I think that one's from Aaron also. Does it say from yeah. Aaron? Thank, Thank you. You, Aaron you guys are going to get glimpses of my childhood here whenever we watch these things. Okay, Sarah. Keep up with the tradition. <laughs> this one also says for Miss Erin. Okay. She's rubbing her eyes over here. Oh, it's an RDVD. The Muppets movie. <laughs> the Muppet movie. Oh, I got a glare here. Let me Sorry. See. There we go. Thank you, Erin. <laughs> okay. Well, Sam knows exactly what he's going for. This one is from Miss Erin, too. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. oh, Pete's Dragon. I do not know if I have ever seen it. I've heard. Honestly. I've heard of uh, uh, it, but I... I we I watched it once when we were very little. I don't remember. Remember at Grandma's house on VCR. <laughs> on VCR. <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't even know if Grandma has a VCR anymore. I don't well, we've got a DVD of our very own then. Thank you, Erin. Thank you. All right, back around to Abigail's turn. Oh. Oh. <gasps> the Land Before Time, the oh. original movie. Have you guys seen this one yet? I see. Uh, At Grandma's I see. house on VCR. Yes. <laughs> I, when we were very little. <laughs> I know, see, I've seen, like, ads about it, and it sounds really cute. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen it like since high school times or something. I okay. may have been five last time I saw it. What's it say? Okay. Um, this, enjoy your gift. Uh, this was some of our kids' favorite movie. I'll know you, uh, I'll know you love it as much as we did from Doris. From Miss Doris. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, we do not have this one. And I know at least the younger ones have never seen it. I may have been five last time really? I saw it. So he would have been six. I remember <laughs> one song. <laughs> We're family and you're one of us now. I, I, I know one of us now. Like <laughs> oh, Sam. <laughs> that I was a rare sighting of Sam singing, guys. That does not happen often. <laughs> Anime, are you ready? We are getting <gasps> oh adventures of the wilderness family. Oh, I got a glare here. Let me see. There we go. Hopefully that turns up better. Yeah, are you familiar with this one, Sean? Never seen it. Uh. -uh. Oh, okay. enjoy your gift. Such a great family movie from Janice. Oh, really? Not me. <laughs> Not I, 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 <laughs> different Janice. Thank you. Abigail's interested in yeah, that Yeah, we one. like that kind of stuff. It has we? a bear on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Families out in the wilderness. We, yeah, we're a sucker for those movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it David's turn? You're always going to for that hot pile. The Four Seasons Cookbook. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Amish Friends Four Seasons Cookbook. I have not heard of this one. Eating with the Seasons. It's going to be a lot of eating out of the garden stuff, Sarah. That sounds good. Abigail, could I see it? Sure. This is for Sarah. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Does it say who it's from? From Nancy. From Nancy. Okay. I'm so glad because I had seen in the comments that Nancy had asked, did you receive my gift yet? And I didn't know anything about. Sean hadn't let me know if there was a Nancy gift. So Nancy, it arrived. It's here. <laughs> Sarah loves it. <laughs> Thank you for that. That is a very, very good one for us. Okay. Sarah's looking through the book here. It's so like, the, for instance, the spring recipes... It includes rhubarb, strawberry, dan dandelion, Swiss chard, asparagus, 
fresh little potatoes, radishes. It's all things that you would be gathering in springtime. In the season. That's awesome. Yeah, this is going. This is going to be very very fun. Like su like summer, like. It's all your berries, it's your watermelons. When stuff starts coming in, yeah. in, in Chicago, you got tomatoes, you got fresh corn, broccoli, because like that stuff's just, it's coming. Elderberry pie. <laughs> Elderberry pie. Squashes and zucchinis and your peaches. See, all I've ever made is tincture. We've got all those elderberries in the freezer still we need to deal with. I want to make pie. <laughs> now we're going to make pie out of them instead of tincture. Oh, okay, Andrew, why don't you go ahead? No. Yeah, it is Andrew's turn. Yeah, it's your turn. It's also a gardening tips in it hmm. for each season. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> okay, what are you going with, Andrew? This is from Aaron on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. From Aaron. What is that? Sam, do you know what that is? I just recently read The Giver and the second book just a couple weeks ago and I actually just recently checked out the two newest books from the library but I haven't gotten around to reading them yet <laughs> and now all four of them are here. <laughs> And Thank have, you, Miss Erin. Thank uh, you uh, very much. Uh, <laughs> a really nice hardback, beautiful copy gorgeous. to put on our bookshelves. So, Thank you, Miss Erin. Yeah, you really, I know Sam really enjoyed The Giver. He talked about it. Yes. I was like, stop talking. You're going to spoil it. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> <laughs> he really got into it. So that was the perfect gift. Very good timing, too, right? Right. <laughs> okay, Sarah. Okay, that's a Miss <laughs> Debbie package there. Yeah, I'll move out. Okay. Because those things are always, they're stuffed. Yeah. And you look heavy. Oh, heavy. <laughs> this looks to be sheets. And is it a sheet set? Pillowcases in a beautiful peachy peach. color. <gasps> Growing up, my bedroom was peach. And of course they're soft. I really like that color. <gasps> <laughs> you can have them, Mama. Mm-hmm. They sure know how to put the stuff in the Stuffed in there. Very, oh, there you go. Okay, now Miss oh, Debbie. <laughs> Miss Debbie had said on the last unboxing video, oh, wow. we had uh, comforters for girls' beds. This is a comforter. Okay, and we also had navy blue sheet sets, and she specified that those were for the boys' beds. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna I'm think. I assume this is for the yes. boys' beds as well. So we have navy blue sheets already, and now a navy blue comforter. Yeah. So. I'm thinking those oh. go together, and then the peach probably go with what was the girls. Yeah. They had just packed them up, you know. Yeah. I think these two, yeah, so I, I'm going to say these two are the sheets for the girls. Okay. They're both the same. And those okay. are the pillows. Let me see about this one. Mm. This is the same too, so there's three. So there's three, three sets. Three matching girls. <laughs> and of course there's <laughs> over here counting. <laughs> Figure out how to uh, how these are going to be distributed here. Oh, there's more in the bag. Oh. And then. Yeah. 
because in the last unboxing video there were two sets of the navy blue and sheets two here. yes and yes. two of those pretty fairy sweet girly girl comforters mm -hmm. too so thank you debbie <laughs> thank you thank you look who woke up she still got a sleepy face on though what you gonna rub mama's arm Let me just rub your arm, Mama. That's what she likes to do. Now, are you going to open up some presents? You are. Or do you just want to sit and snuggle? I don't know. Do, do, do unboxing video. Okay. We'll let Rebecca get up. Let's go potty and get a drink. And then you can open up some presents, too. Okay? Okay. Okay. Rebecca is not sure exactly if she wants to get up yet or not. So she's going to snuggle with Sarah a little bit more. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Sam's going to go ahead and take his turn. We've got another package from Miss Debbie. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and open it up. we got to see what's inside it. It's out of... My bad. <laughs> I think that is another sheet set. Mm -hmm. Navy blue sheet set mm -hmm. to go with those comforters there. <laughs> oh, how pretty! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, open it up. You just gotta rip that one? I can do that. Hey. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> I gotta open it up. Yeah. I want to see it. it. Yeah, Abigail, go in and open it up. I want to see it. No. There's another. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, he's got a second one there, too, that he's opening up. Oh, Debbie, I love that. It's just beautiful. I just love the flowers. <laughs> it's strawberries. Flower, daisies and strawberries. <laughs> okay, yeah, and Sam, he just pulled out a second one there. Oh, those are just gorgeous. I love the blue color, too. Oh, they're Yep, another navy blue comforter there. So that makes three. Yes. Yep, three comforters, three navy blue sheet sets. And then and a fourth pink. A fourth of the peach? Yes. Is that four? Oh my yes. goodness, Debbie. Okay, let's see. Abigail, you go, let's open up the other Debbie one there, the other big, big package there. This is different. Mm -hmm. Debbie, you picked out such pretty stuff. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> Open it up. Let me see what it is. What is it? Oh, it's a towel. towel. Oh, Debbie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, see what else is in there, baby. Just put it on the Debbie pile here. Make a Debbie pile. No, right where you had it. It's good. Another one. Another one. Towel number two. Oh, it's going to be like it, only blue, isn't it? Another blue one. Three, so three of each color. Oh, four Whoa. blue ones. <laughs> four of each color. Another one more. And five of that one. So one, two, three. Oh, that's 
what it is. I get your system now. I think so. No, blue for boys. Yeah, blue. Yeah. Yeah. I get the system now, Debbie. Thank you. This is just very, very generous. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rebecca said she wanted to open one. You gonna get that one for Miss Debbie? What's inside? What is in there? Oh, whoa. Here, hold on. There. Now, now try. It's pretty. Here, you ready? Pull it. Pull it out. It's up. in there. Oh, it's a personalized something. Yeah. It has, I see children's names. I see pull, my name. You want to pull it out? And. <gasps> Open. What is it? Oh, oh, <laughs> Debbie. Oh, that's so sweet. We're back. Okay, so at the top, here, pull it taut there, it says Ozark Family Homestead, and then in the shape of a heart, it has all of our names just written on there in different fonts. Oh, and it's like silky soft, guys. Debbie, this is so nice. It is, and it's so soft. Wow. I should put it on my bed. You're going to put it on your bed? At the girl's bed. In the girl's bed? Yeah. <laughs> because it is, it's crazy soft. Like super. Wow. Thank you for that. You love it? Yes. <laughs> okay, you found a note in there from Miss Debbie that said it was for our one year YouTube anniversary too. So, okay, we're a little out of order, but it's now, it's Anna's turn, right? Okay, what are you gonna pick? <laughs> Here she comes. She's awake. Let me look at the front here. It put the book of the Amelia. Crayola marker and watercolor pages. Yes, you can share it. Washable watercolors. And then there's brushes. There's a variety pack of brushes in there too. Oh, and you've got more. What else is in there? What is that? Let me scoot back here. Sarah, will you see if there's a note or something in that? Packaging. I'm still not certain yet. Oh. Oh. I have no note. No note. Girls, do you know what that is? Do you realize what it is? What, what Abigail has that goes with it? Oh, I'm I know. It's a, ball. It's a um, kickball. <laughs> yeah. How do you do it? Get, <laughs> she had to. I thought it was a pretty rainbow bouncy ball. Okay, now we did not have a note with this one, so girls, we have to tell somebody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice gift. Okay, so Sarah just told me that the last kickball just got thrown away. Yeah. And then you said... We tend to uh, use ours, like, <laughs> we love them to death, so... <laughs> she, she actually said, we kill them. we <laughs> they use them up very, very well. We love them. You love on them, they're yes. So ver they're so very, very versatile. You can well, whenever you have friends and stuff over, too, you guys, you guys use yeah. them. So that was a very good gift. We needed a new kickball yeah. for this bunch. Okay, David is going to pick out a gift, but I did want to point out, too, before he got started. Here, I'm going to cover up the address. Miss Lori sent us a very nice note, and I want you to know that we received it. I don't know if it's 
it's on a, such a pretty card. So I wanted to show that on there too, but Lori, we did get your nice letter. So thank you for that. David, do you have one in mind? Yep. yep. Now that one, Sean, where was this one from? From Great Britain. From Great Britain. It's exciting to get things from other countries, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's soft, he says. <laughs> uh, is is oh. it a nice blanket? Yeah, it's kitty cats on it. <laughs> <laughs> kitty cats. Here, let me feel. Let me see. Rebecca wants to hold it too. Here, you want to hold it? Oh, it's, so a blanket. it's a blanket with kitty cats on it. <laughs> Say thank you. It looks like our cats. It looks like our cats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this oh. one has zebras. It's zebras. <laughs> so she comes again. <laughs> A girl in her chicken dress with her kitty cat and zebra blankets. What's that one? Yeah, I think it's dogs. I'm gonna get a good look at one of them. Yep, yep. dogs. Dogs on that one. <laughs> look at all of them you get to pick from. Just a first name, David. Yay! Jenny. Is it on there? Yeah. Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Thank yeah, you. I think there's actually that second package is from the same. Yes. It's from Jenny also. So. <laughs> Maybe we'll have Andrew, since he's next, you can open up the second package from Jenny, since they kind of go together. Okay, Andrew's over there. He's been airing up the ball. <laughs> That's what he's been doing in the background here. So, it's the black, the one by the recliner. Yeah, that one's from Jenny also. Oh, and I see more blankets in there. <laughs> Abigail's got that ball now. Oh, what does it look like? Here, baby, I need you to scoot out of the way. How pretty. It's pretty pattern on there. And the other side is a cream color, isn't it? Let me show. Yep, the other side is a cream color. Thank you. It looks like a soft, what, a fleece blanket there. Go ahead and open it up so we can see what it looks like. That's nice. It's a nice, like, wintry colors. <laughs> And I love the material. Yeah. That material is a favorite for me to mm -hmm. snuggle up with with the blanket there. Yeah, yeah the others, you don't have to fold it up, Andrew. The others can fold it up here. Just pass it along. This looks like you. I know. I've been, I've been eyeballing that fabric there, that pretty blue and white. Double sided. So is this one, this side. Oh, let, me, let me come in and show them the. The pattern. See, this pattern makes me happy <laughs> with these flowers and the colors. The Let me see side. what's on the other side. Oh, yeah, I like that color combination there. Thank you. I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenny. <laughs> There's more in there. Oh, another oh, rolled up fleece. one. The fleece type. There we go. So how many blankets? Well, see, the, I'm thinking about the bedding because they people know we're, the summer kitchen, we'll be moving boys out yeah. there. The girls are going to get rearranged. All the bedroom situations are about to change. Yeah. And now we've got folks fixing us up on the yeah, bedding. Yeah, because we're going yeah. to this buy little bed frames for the boys but the girls are going to relocate into 
they're going to split. Split up, yeah. yeah. So yeah. the so. bedroom that's currently the boys' bedroom, we'll put two girls in that one and two girls in the current girls' bedroom. So, yeah, we have some. And she's out growing the baby bed, so yeah. this is a perfect time. Yeah. This is a, this is a perfect time for that bedding, I think. That's very thoughtful. Thank yes. You very much. Thank you. Okay, it's now Sarah's turn. Which one are you going to pick? It's a pretty packaging. Yeah, I thought it was pretty. The envelope on there was all shiny with that bright pink. Dancing in the storm. Okay. Um, I had a lady message me about this book. Yeah, this is something that they had written and would like us to review it. So let me show... You know, we haven't read the book here, but I told her we love books and we would be happy to look it over. So, yeah, Dancing in the Storm by Amy Darnell Specht and Shannon Hitchcock. So, check this one out, too. We're going to look forward to reading it. We got lots of good readers in the house, so. Let me see. Let me look at, I want to look at the back here. Okay. Uh, is it going to focus in here? Let me just read it to you guys. Um, is a hope-giving, beautifully written story without glossing over the struggles of living with disability. The authors provide a glowing roadmap for navigating life's universal twists and turns with grace. So that'll be a good one. Thank you. Sam, your turn next. Okay, this is from, Sean says it's Chandra. That's, hey. the, way, that's the way I'm used to pronouncing it. Okay, spelling. okay. It could be um, pronounced other ways, but that's the pronunciation I'm familiar with with that spelling. Okay. And another purse for girls. Oh, now, more. go grab the one that Chandra sent for Rebecca while she was asleep. Oh. And let her, yeah, Sarah wants to see the brown one. What? <laughs> And Rebecca, they sent another purse, and it was for you. <laughs> she put it right on. Let me see you with it. Is it pretty colors? You can put your treasures inside. <laughs> but there's just paper in here. Let me get that out of the way so my treasures will go in there. Rebecca, can you tell her thank you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, girls, what do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Now, okay, so Sam did that one. That means it is Rebecca's turn again. It's Rebecca's turn to pick a gift. She said, but I'm stashing all my paper back in my rainbow purse. <laughs> I can do that for you, Becca. Okay. Anna's going to fix it, and you can pick out a present to open. Here. That box? All right. Sarah, who is that one from? Dorothy. From Dorothy. Okay. Let's open it up and see what Dorothy sent. This is socks. Oh. Oh, I see good. Oh, I see amazing stuff in there. Okay, hand the hand the note to Sarah. We'll let Sarah. She'll take care of the note. When hope calls, season one. Wow. I'm looking forward to watching this. Sarah's gonna sit up and watch it with me. I think. <laughs> it is. It's a spin-off of the um, Wind Calls the Heart series. Really? I didn't even know they did one of those. So, thank you. This is a, yeah, we're going to enjoy that. Okay, let me see the puzzle, baby. A 500-piece puzzle with fishes on it. Look at all the fishies. Oh, Sarah, Whoa. did you see this? Andrew, did you see this? 
Sign language flashcards. Sign language flashcards. <gasps> that yeah. is good. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, um, some of the children have taken sign language classes as part of their homeschool. And so they, uh, they enjoy this, right? Yes. <laughs> and we had the whole, um, well, it was a short for Independence Day where the girls sang and did sign language at the same time. So, oh, and there's more sign language stuff. Flashcards. More this is an awesome gift. When it gets silent in here, you know you've done really good. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice gift. Okay, you're going to have to let me see the boxes here so I can show everybody up close what you have received okay let me see this one first um 500 flashcards of american sign language so they can see the signs on the cards you take that and this one uh learn american sign language so and the thing is too the children have friends homeschool friends that are also learning at the same time yeah and these resources can be used with friends too. Moonshot, the inside story of America's race to the moon. Introduction by Neil Armstrong too. Ooh. Oh, it's by Alan Shepard. Awesome. Let me see, and socks. We always need socks. Very thoughtful gifts. Thank you. Did Thank I show you. everything up front? I showed the DVD and the socks. I think I got everything up to the camera there. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Got another one. Andrew was playing guitar with Rebecca over there as we put things away. And Abigail picked out another box from Chandra. Rebecca! Hmm? Look up, but here, baby, come here. Look, Rebecca! Look. Look. I can. Is a baby mommy? I think it's <laughs> you, Rebecca. Get, get your little baby like me. Uh -huh. <laughs> get your doll baby like me. <laughs> I don't think there's any notes. Oh, it's from Chandra. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that yeah, we know that one's from Chandra. So. Yeah, it's, got, it's a big baby doll, isn't it? Oh, look, it's sleeping. Your baby's sleeping. <laughs> Say, open your eyes, baby. You gotta tilt it up. You tilt it up. And then, it's awake. Now it's asleep. It's awake. Go to sleep. It's awake. <laughs> what else was in there? Oh. Horses. I like those. Those are cute. <laughs> So cute. Those are nice. Thank you. I think they're for you. You think they're for me? Is the baby doll for me? <laughs> you love the baby doll. <laughs> she loves her baby. Thank you, Chandra. Appreciate you. you so much. All right, it's technically Anna's turn, but Sean has a couple packages that were... They just kind of got to the bottom. Yeah, so and we in. set them aside since he wasn't here for the part one of the unboxing video, so now he gets to load up on his gifts here in part two. So, so we'll call this my gift, too, because it was designed to... It was set to save me time, so Miss Lisa sent another chicken tractor that we, we will have another chicken tractor it's scooted out here oh, so i can see, show the see picture to everybody right. so yeah she noticed that an old chicken tractor that we built many years ago out of pvc pipe has finally um, i feel kind of funny behind this back but anyway um has finally um 
died. We'll give up the ghost, <laughs> I guess you would say, and she noticed that on the video, so this help us save time. With our meat birds. With our, yeah, with, yeah, for raising the meat birds. And uh, send us another chicken tractor so we don't have to rebuild another PVC pipe chicken tractor. And thank you very, very much. That is yeah. going to save Lisa, time. Absolutely. Lisa takes care of us. Since Absolutely. Very, that very, very useful gifts that help yes. out on the homestead. Very, so She is very helpful and very practical. Mm -hmm. like that. Yes. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so much. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Okay. This isn't going to mean anything to you guys. It's a big deal to me, but you're going to be going, why is this a big deal? Because daddy's old and you're not. Because no. if you're my age. <laughs> I've heard of that. I've heard of that. If you're my age, this was a big deal. <laughs> Gilligan's Island was like. The complete a, series. The, it's the entire, which there was only three seasons. Oh, it really? Was, Gilligan's Island's one of those shows that was popular, not originally. In reruns so this actually came out in the in the early 60s it was a flop but huh. my generation loved it in reruns okay so this is one of those um, kind of like WKRP in Cincinnati some of those that were more popular in reruns than they were originally see I don't think I've ever seen a complete Gilligan's Island episode I've seen clips of things here and there but I never watched it. And the only reason I watched WKRP is because you yeah, it's those, wanted to sit down and watch it. So them. it's one of those, it's like a, I don't know, cult classic. I'm not sure that's the right word. But, but of people my age, this was a people loved Gilligan's Island. It is completely ridiculous. But that's the whole point. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just completely ridiculous silly. So we're not going to get fun. any uh, wilderness survival tips? You're not learning tips. anything about actually surviving on an island. It's just... <laughs> It's just pure comedy. Uh, uh, and who sent you this? And this. Doesn't it say? It, uh, no, I do not have. I don't have a name on this. Okay. Well, I'm. I mean, unless I'm, someone has emailed you. I'm going to bet it's Miss Erin. I mean, she sends a lot of movies. Unless she has. Okay. emailed you about it specifically because I, I there is nothing okay to let us know for sure Aaron or someone else if this was you um. because yeah this is absolutely yeah people my age Gilligan's I big deal made Sean happy all right <laughs> and this was and I guess I were, I was watching Gilligan's Island in 1977, August of 1977, reruns on KTUL, Channel 8 out of Tulsa, when they broke over the news and said that Elvis Presley had died. The story of, and, yeah, going to tell your mom. And then I was the one that told my mom that Elvis died. And she and was, was very upset. Yeah, because her generation was really big on Elvis. And, but I was watching Goldie's Island. I always remember that. <laughs> Okay. okay. This is from Switzerland. That's Miss Florence, Ms. I believe. Miss Florence. Miss Florence from Switzerland. She has already sent neat little tin of the pretty bird. Mm hmm It's it's up in the greenhouse mm -hmm. now. So it's so she sent something and it says a stern warning for coyotes, cougars, foxes, and snakes, and aliens. <laughs> to leave immediately. This is serious. So the warning to the predators from Miss Florence. In Switzerland. From Switzerland. Is. No trespassing. Violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. <laughs> <laughs> I find it interesting this is from Switzerland because it's very Ozarks. It's very Ozarks. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Very good. I like that. <laughs> now you got to figure out where you're going to place it. That's right. Okay. Okay, this is from Aaron. I know this is from oh, Aaron. Oh, okay. I, not only will I be excited, there will be other excitement. We have the complete DVD series, and now you can sing along because you have the book. Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> So, 
Aaron has managed to combine a beloved DVD set yes. with a beloved book. So we've got the words to all oh. of them. And conjunction junction. And, uh, and trivia. <laughs> and it's got the trivia. It's got facts about it. What's your bum? <laughs> you know the song? Yeah. Yes. So it's got the story behind it, who wrote it, who sang it, when it was released, all that good stuff. That's so nice. now you can memorize. Let me see the front cover there again. Updated official guide, Schoolhouse Rock. From the creators of Schoolhouse Rock. Includes song lyrics from the classic musical shorts. So so the note says to everyone, but especially Sean from Aaron. So, so I uh, I did pretty good. I did I did pretty good on this on the on the uh, the last video I uh, I uh, I made out like a bandit. <laughs> this is you're shocked. <laughs> this is awesome. This is fantastic. Okay. Sarah just gave us a little piece of trivia here. Mama. Fun fact. Daddy, help. Daddy, help. You can open up yours next. You can open up yours maybe with Daddy next. Sarah's going to give us a fun fact here. Okay. So, um, a um, 1800s poet, Emily Dickinson, she wrote a lot of uh, little short poems, really sweet. The vast majority of her poetry can be sung to the tune of either Amazing Grace or the theme song of Gilligan's Island. Because they're so similar. I know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now I heard you that know. somewhere. And now you know. Okay, Rebecca had a gift, and Daddy's going to help her open this it. This is also Miss mm -hmm. Florence from Switzerland. Yes. And I'll let you look at it first, then we're going to show everybody. What's that? It says, be the person your dog thinks you are. Oh. <laughs> Little doggy dog. It says, Rebecca, this is a message for all the dog owners in the world. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh huh. For me and daddy. It's for me it's and today. daddy. It's for you. It said, for, it said to you. Miss Florence lives far, far away. And she sent that all the way here to you. I go for a, a dog. I got a bird and a dog. Yeah, she the says. Bird. Now you have the dog. Yeah, yeah, she sent you the bluebird one too, didn't she? Can you say thank you, Miss Florence? That's the big bullet. <laughs> okay, so I got a special gift in the pretty, pretty blue envelope, which I love. And it says for Janice to be opened by Janice only. So Sean has cut the top here to make it easier for me to get into. But this is from Miss Sharla. And we're going to see what's in here. Let me see. Thank you. <gasps> okay, this is just perfect for me. I love this. Okay, they're cards. Isn't it pretty? You guys, look! It's so pretty! And it's just, it's a blank, Aww. blank card here. Oh, this is just for you. And then this one here, it's got cute little owls on it. Here, Lauren, let it focus. Oh, here, hold on a minute. Um, it says happy new baby. So this would be for like a baby shower Aww. here. So I'm guessing, let me see. What different ones? I'm gonna hand these to you and you can hold them here. And I'll show uh, Happy Father's Day. These are just beautiful homemade cards that are blank inside. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of them in here, guys. A happy birthday. Aww. There's so many. Yeah, let me just pull out a big old stack here. Oh, and there's, there's a let me see. Best wishes. These are just gorgeous. Aww. Yeah, and they're heavy duty too. Another happy birthday. Charlotte, she took time doing this. That's a talent right there. Feel better soon. Okay, so I love organization and stuff. I have this little hold your cards caddy just for you. 
in the file cabinet over here at the desk where we keep the laptops. And so what I'm going to do, happy birthday, is I'm going to file these in each of the little slots there. And then those are just some envelopes here. You take those. I'm going to file these in those little slots. And then I don't have to buy cards, Charlotte. These are gorgeous. Happy birthday. Are they showing up on camera? Yes. Is it focusing okay? Um, Another one similar, just different colors. Two more birthday cards. Wow. <laughs> there's a whole bunch. Okay, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to show each one of them here because there's a lot. But yeah, with the matching envelopes and everything. Oh, that's a cute one. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, let me see if there's if there's a note. I think, okay, Sharla sent me an email, and I'm pretty sure she said I meant to put a note in there, and I forgot. I'm pretty sure she told me that. So lots of envelopes. There you go, baby. Got your hands full now, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, more envelopes. Oh, sending well wishes your way, and it's got a cute little birdie. <laughs> yep, yeah, so you're not going to see me buying the cards at Dollar Tree for a while, guys, in any of my Dollar Tree hauls. Because I'm set. See, I just love this style. <laughs> This just says, from Janice. So, thank you, Sharla. Really appreciate it. Mama. And the time you took. What, baby? Did you get anything in there? These are Mama's presents. They're pretty, pretty cards. Yeah. A big old stack of them. Yeah. So, thank you, Sharla. Really do appreciate you and the pretty things you sent me. All right, we've got two more packages here, and they are both from Susie. So Anna's going to open this box first, and then David is going to get to open the envelope that's from Susie as well. So here you go, baby. Oh, there's a note. I'm going to pass that on to Sarah. I'm seeing DVDs in here. Seeing many DVDs. Chariots of Fire. A classic. Yeah, I've never seen it either. Oh, let me see. One Night with the King. I'm getting a glare from the light here. I'm trying to. One Night with the King. What, Sarah? <laughs> what? This is something we talked about watching, isn't it? Yeah. We talked about watching this. I do not have this. The children, I've shown them little snippets because I think she's hilarious. So the Lucy Collection, volume one. I am gonna have a lot of fun watching this with you guys. I think she is a hoot. Volume two. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, cheaper by the dozen. Awesome. Oh my goodness, Susie. There is a bunch of stuff in here. God's Not Dead 2, all kinds of DVDs. Uh -huh. Curious George, look at that. Who is that? George the Monkey. Haley Mills. The Trouble with Angels, oh it is, it's a Haley Mills movie. How about that? I've not heard of this one, The Trouble with Angels. The Bible Collection. Let's see, we've got 24. Oh my, yeah, there's a whole bunch. I can't even read all those. I can see Escape to Egypt, Boyhood and Batfish, First Disciples, there's all kinds of, oh, God's Not Dead, this would be the first one. I've not seen either of these movies too. I've heard of them and I know they've been popular, but I've not seen any of them. They just keep coming. Confessions of a Prodigal Son. Got it. It's a Kevin Sorbo movie there. The choices we make are the stories we tell. 20 movie pack. It's got Shirley Temple ones in it. Let me see here. 
Oh, goodness. Yeah, there's a bunch. There's no way I can read all those, Sarah. <laughs> Lord of the Rings! <gasps> <laughs> Sarah guest and looky there the fellowship of the ring Sarah you okay breathe <laughs> the return of the king okay so we had what was it the first one we had the two towers okay we went to the thrift store one time and they had the two towers and what are you <gasps> looking at and the hobbit the Hobbit from series. Oh my goodness. Well, we went to the thrift store and they had, you said the two towers is what it was? Okay, they're, they're keeping pulling stuff out here. And they gave us the DVD because it was so scratched up. So, okay. So the Hobbit, they're just, they're kind of, I'm losing them here. <laughs> What's, oh, Nanny McPhee and Nanny McPhee Returns. <laughs> Are you okay, Abigail? Yes, Yes, are you excited? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Now what? I seen this movie. You think at you Glamos. seen? It? Did you? Yeah. A place to grow. It's really sweet. Really. And now you get to see it. Now I get to see it too. Courageous. We love the Kendrick Brothers movies. Awesome. Thank you. Oh goodness, it's just Narnia: The Voyage of the <gasps> Dawn Treader. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> wow. I just finished that series. <laughs> just reading it? Reading yes. It, yeah. I read oh, read it. I have not watched the movies. Okay, we're just gonna have to close the homestead and watch DVDs for <laughs> several weeks. My friend Flicka. Oh. The last game. Fireproof. Oh. Okay, now we got a book here. American History. Don't know much about American History by Kenneth Davis. Lives of the Signers of the Declaration of Independence, Sam. Ooh. <laughs> that looks like a Sam. American History. That's not in my American history book. A compilation of little known events and forgotten heroes. <laughs> now these DVD. books like this are my favorite type of history books. <laughs> Tell you all the trivia that you don't learn in other places. Yep. Uh, this is the discussion guide for my friend Flicka. What'd you find? Stickers. Stickers. Well, you guys don't like stickers. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of like stickers. Oh, my. these stickers. Yeah, anytime they make pretty artwork or cards, they're going to be putting stickers on it. Did you see the stickers, baby? Yep. Yep, they're pretty ones. Pretty flowers. Let me see. What are they? Oh, unicorns and rainbows. Ah. Uh, uh, and butterflies. Which one am I You want to look at them? Okay, what is this? What am I seeing here? The beads, I think, maybe? Oh. Fancy beads. Is it for making jewelry, maybe? It's really fancy. Really fancy. I like the little holders that it's in. Yeah. And the little organization box there. Little note. Some. Play small beads in here. There, let me get it up close to the camera and people can see. Maybe does it show in there? Okay, they're over here just whispering to each other and totally having their own excited conversations. I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much goodness. It's the extended edition. It's so the extended edition. <laughs> so this is what, and there's, I don't know. The way they're in those little organizational things. I think that's so neat. And I see there's a second one in here, too. Yep. Okay, and again, when it gets quiet, guys, 
So we've got David over here with Schoolhouse Rock. And older ones are drooling all over the DVDs over here. It's like, they're like rocks. They're like rocks. Oh, they're big beads. Wow. Oh. All kinds of neat stuff. You can make a lot of neat things. Girls over here with beads. And Rebecca over here with stickers. Veggie tails. Veggie tail stickers. Susie. You filled the box with awesome things. <laughs> I have some happy children here. Oh, now what's in there? More books. Archaeology and the Old Testament. And Archaeology and the New Testament. Okay, I'm going to open up these books. Oh, there's bookmarks too. <laughs> yeah, let me look at the books here. Okay. Oh, well, there's a bookmark in there, too. Maps. Oh, yeah. That's going to be neat. Wow, Susie. Just what things look like. Very cool books. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you got the other package. Uh, there, there's a second package this, from so Susie. David. That's David's going to open that. All right. David's going to open the last one here from Susie. Yeah, in the email, she had specifically said to open the box first because the envelope were things to help with gifts that came in the box. Does that make sense, Anna? Because what does it look like is in the envelope? More bead stuff. Stuff to do with the beads. I saw some pliers and it looks like some wire. Here, let me move yep. this box out of the way here, guys. And let me see the, the uh, first baggie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So all kinds of different colored wires in there. David's got some string. He's pulling some other things out of this one. All kinds of different tools and pliers there. They are just set up with all kinds of, I mean, really fancy bead stuff. I know, and you're looking at the stickers, aren't you? There's so many pretty ones in there. Oh, look at those beads. Those are gorgeous. They have kind of like mother of pearl shiny look to them. What is all this? Just more different color wire. Stretch cord. Sparkle stretch cord it says. Hemp cord. Oh and there's a, a finished a ready made. Necklace. Yeah. Oh. This James nice and thin. Little little one. It's there. Are those all blue ones? Yep. Oh, oh you like those? Look at those. Leave those in the in the bag, baby. Those are tools for the bracelets. Okay. More beads. Mm -hmm. So much. A necklace. A necklace. Are you wearing the necklace? You like it? Wow. Those are shiny. Let me see. Lila is my best friend. Is your best friend? Yes. Look at this. Those are very nice. I know. What do you say to Susie? Thank you. Thank you, Susie. Thank this you. Is just, just so generous of you. Thank you. Okay, guys, that is it 
for the unboxing videos. Um, I know that there are a lot of you that are disappointed that we're not gonna be filming these anymore. And I'm sorry about that. Um, I really do, I like to make people happy and I like to do what I can. I don't know, I just like people to be happy. And so I am sorry that some of you are disappointed and some of you are saddened by this decision, but I just, I try to say that whatever decisions we make, that none of them are permanent. We could always come back around and decide to do these again, but for this season, for our family, I just, I think this is the right decision. And I hope you guys can understand it, even if you're disappointed, and I'm sorry, I hope you can understand it. So, I do want you guys to know that we are thankful for you, um, those that you that send gifts, those that you that do not send gifts, those of you, I just, all of our viewers are so important to us. And I don't like that some of you have had your feelings hurt, and I'm sorry about that if you have. So, I just want to, I just want to end this with you guys knowing that we love you all, and we are grateful for all of you. And we just feel very supportive, supported, and very loved on. And I hope you guys know that. So, um, I appreciate you watching. And I appreciate you coming along with our family when we do things like this. So, um, do the whole like, subscribe, and share thing, guys. I just, I appreciate you. And we will see you on the next video. And we are still going to try to determine how we thank our viewers from here on out that have chosen to send us gifts. We are not certain exactly what we're going to do, and we may change our minds. We, we might do that. Um, we might put things at the end of videos, thank yous at the end of videos. Or we might just email and respond to comments and send thank yous that way. We are kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. These unboxing videos were a way for us to publicly thank those that sent gifts. And since we're not going to have this, this ability to say thank you publicly, we are still trying to figure out how we're doing it privately or on videos. We don't know what we're doing, but um, we'll figure it out. So, thanks guys. Thanks for being here, and we love you all a whole bunch. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Ozark Family Homestead. Bye.